Okay, you ready for intensity transformations? I'm ready for some intensity transformations. And what I mean by that <laughs> is really just picks inside. I really mean just like intensity transformations in the picks inside way, right? So what we're going to do is go to process intensity transformations and we're going to go to curves. In fact, curves is probably the only thing that I probably use. I mean, most of the time I use curves. That's all I do. I use curves. Let's just start this off. I'm going to start with a preview. What I'm going to do is start off with some contrast. And to do contrast, I just kind of want to pull here. And then I want to pull up. That's it. Let's apply that. Then maybe we're going to start off with some saturation. So what I'm going to do is reset this. I'm going to go to the saturation tab right here. Click that. And going to pull that up. Don't want to go too far with that. Do not want to go too far with the saturation. So our image is starting to look good here, you know? So we, we're going to do the saturation. Let's apply this. And what I like to do now is go into these red, green, and blues and kind of just kind of mess with them. And it's kind of like a color correction kind of thing. So I'm going to bring the red down because the image is starting to look a little too red. And I want to bring out more of this 03, which is this um, greenish, bluish look. And you could see it in here. So I'm going to bring up the green and I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I'm going to bring up a little bit of green here and I'm going to bring up a little bit of blue, maybe even more so blue than I am that I did green. So here you go. And yeah, you can see a little bit more of that uh, bluish greenish look there. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to reset. I don't know if I'm going to try luminance, but I, I might try contrast one more time. Let's just do a little bit of contrast. Now that we have uh, put in more blue here, just a little bit. I don't want to go too far with any of these things. Okay, I think that does it. Okay, let's close our preview. And what we're going to do is go to another intensity transformation called local histogram equalization, which means sharpen. That's really what it means. Local histogram equalization. Sharpen. Again, we're going to open up our preview. And woo, that got sharpened too far. Its default settings are really harsh. So you, what you want to do is change to 100 here. Bring this down to maybe 1.3. And bring this down to a 0.5. I think that looks pretty good. But I'm going to play with it a little bit more. Let's just see what happens when we take off this preview. Okay. Not that big of a difference. You know... I really don't like things when they're too sharpened. I hate when they're over sharpened. So, okay, took the preview off. I don't know if this really makes any difference. So let me just take up the number here just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's, that's good. I don't like over sharpening again, but let's just apply this as it is. And we're going to wait here for just a little while. So I'll be back. Okay, it looks like we are done with this, and you could see the sharpened image. I'm going to close the preview, and let's zoom in here. Let's see what our sharpened image looks like. Ooh, you could see a little bit of noise there. We have another tr uh, trick up our sleeves to that. So it's like slightly sharpened. It's not crazy sharpened, and it looks like we're going to have to apply a little bit of noise reduction in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Process, Noise Reduction, Noise Exterminator. And again, if you wanted to know if noise exterminator is related to star exterminator and blur exterminator, you guessed it. They're all siblings. So they're all from RC Astro and they're all paid. So this one is the cheapest of them all, but hey, I think it works great. I usually keep it at its default settings of a denoise of 90 and a detail of 10. And all I'm going to do is just drag it on like all these RC Astro plugins, just drag them on. That's all you got to do. Makes your life so much easier. Remember multi-scale linear transform? That wasn't fun. This one, just drag it on. So I, I don't know if this probably made a big difference in our noise. But oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that made a huge difference. You know why? Because I don't even think I've applied noise exterminator yet. Yeah, this made a pretty big difference. So that was before. This is after. That was before. This is after. So yeah, noise noise exterminator to do quite a difference here. 
So that's it. I think that's our intensity transformation. So the next step is to recombine our stars and make one big happy image. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.